Good morning, Azeroth. Good morning, Azeroth. It is Ningo, the friendly warrior tank from Medivh, and I help people learn achievements. And this is Good Morning, Azeroth, for Thursday, the 5th of January, 2017. Thursday, the 5th of January, 2017. Uh, Neil's attempt to bring you the news from all around the world of Warcraft. Uh, and our top story, uh, if you've been following along on my Facebook or Twitter, then you know Neil has been doing a little bit of PvP, uh, mostly because when you reach prestige level one, there is a pet, and I'm all about collecting all them things, Pokemon, gotta catch them all, you know. So, uh, I've been doing the world quest for PvP, not really a serious PvP or I've not done a lot of PvP achievements, if you, you know me well, uh, PvP is where I lack a lot of achievements. I think I have 66 PvP achievements, and that's not a lot. Um, people that are ahead of me in achievement points usually have more PvP achievement points than me because I just haven't gotten into PvP. Uh, but I've been doing the world quests, and they haven't been terrible. Uh, in fact, I think I tweeted and or uh, Facebook post a little bit about the first day I went out uh, and cleared the map of the PvP world quest. Uh, it wasn't terrible. Uh, there was actually... Um, uh, well, I wanted to use this spot to sort of complain about some of the things that I am seeing that make people sort of not want to do PvP stuff. Uh, so, uh, for the most part, uh, if you're not familiar with the PvP World Quest, they, they come in sort of two varieties. There are uh, free-for-all uh, areas, uh, sort of brawler areas, where you are in combat with everyone else who's in PvP, whether they are Horde or Alliance. Uh, so everybody can kill everybody in these areas, uh, and their objectives to meet, like uh, either killing uh, NPCs or uh, other players. So you, you either kill uh, players of either faction or there are NPCs around that you can kill that give you progress towards completing the world quest as well. The second type are tower objectives where you uh, defeat either NPCs uh, or enemy faction players and the enemy faction's commander at the top of the tower uh, to complete that world quest. Uh, so, you know, the the uh, generally you don't, uh, especially on the tower objectives, you don't run into other enemy players generally, although it's not, um, it, it's not, uh, it's a PvP area, so um, not something that should not be expected ever, but um, generally I haven't. Uh, and then in the, the free-for-all area, you know, it's everybody against everybody, but what I've generally noticed is uh, it seems that um, if you're not attacking people, they're not attacking you. It's sort of a uh, no one attacks until you attack them sort of thing uh, on the general. Uh, so, uh, three circumstances that came across that made me go, mm, this is why I don't really like it, PvP. Um, the first, uh, attacking a tower, on the first day I was doing PvP World Quest, there were two, uh, I'm Alliance, so there were two Horde guys who were actually trying to, I guess, defend the tower, if that's what you want to call it. They were standing amongst all the Horde NPCs and, uh, 2v1-ing all of the Alliance players, uh, who came to try to claim the tower. Uh, and to me, that just doesn't seem, I don't know what the right word is. I mean, I, I know it's, um, it's okay. It's a PvP area. I should expect PvP. I should expect there might be a Horde player who wants to try to defend the tower. But I'm, I, if I'm a Horde guy, I'm not sure that 2v1-ing Alliance players with all these NPCs who are on my side is fun or fair or something that I should look at myself and go, I'm proud of the honor kills I got today because I 2 v one a whole bunch of Alliance players with the help of all these NPCs who are on my side. Uh, so uh, that sort of gave me a bad taste. Um, I, I finished the World Quest, got it done, died four or five times, but got it done in spite of that. Uh, the second thing, uh, yesterday in a free-for-all area, in the free-for-all areas there are, at least the one I was in yesterday, there are a couple of elites uh, one who's at um, most of the NPCs, you know, in the 1 million, 2 million health range. Uh, the two elites are in the, uh, I think, one's at 9 and one's at 14 million health. And I soloed uh, the 14 million health elite mob to dead, because uh, if you kill those guys, you get more progress towards completing the area faster. Uh, so when I did that, I was at, you know, I don't know, 25% health. And uh, Alliance Death Knight came along from my realm and uh, uh, basically killed me. You know, blew all his cooldowns, 
and took me out uh, and when I started at 25% health and I'm just like how can you feel good about yourself if you you know again it's a free-for-all PvP area and I understand uh, you know let's everyone's fair game and it comes with the territory but you know just how can you feel good about yourself when your opponent started at 25% health he just soloed the biggest ad in the area and now you're gonna kill him uh, blowing all your cooldowns uh, you know that's just uh, I don't know bad taste in my mouth uh, and then you know the some uh, Something that sort of gave me some, you know, maybe there's hope out there. Uh, also in the same area yesterday, I uh, was killing a mob with these uh, two other hunters. You know, there are mobs that pop up, Naga that pop up, and you go around and you kill them. And if it's, it works like it works everywhere else, if you multi-tag, everyone gets credit for the kill. Uh, you know, in the PvP area, that free-for-all PvP area, you know, you just have to watch out and make sure you're not dying to someone else's AoE unintentionally or whatever the case may be. So we killed the mob. Or mobs and um, you know I noticed I was still taking damage so I'm usually like I said I'm like you know I'm not gonna fight back unless uh, someone is attacking me and I noticed I was still taking damage so I sort of look and yep there's these two Alliance hunters are attacking me uh, so I'm like okay I'll fight back you know it's a PV period that's cool uh, even though it was sort of you know unfair to the one hunter two hunters versus Neil after we just killed a mob we were all starting at full health so I didn't feel as bad as the other guy uh, and I killed one of the hunters and they killed me and uh, I rest and came back and um, they actually found me and apologized and said sorry Neil didn't didn't mean to do that and I'm like you know it's cool it's a PvP area free-for-all and you know so I, I realized there are other people out there like me uh, who you know are not you know they're just for getting the world quest done just for either uh, Falcus or quest lines or uh, getting the prestige uh, one pet or whatever and they're not really PvPers and uh, you know that's cool uh, I think it's it, it's fun it's a different way to get some AP they're interesting world quest you know just realize you might die uh, and you might run across some jerks but uh, it's interesting and cool stuff so I'd recommend giving it a shot um, you know there, there are other there are cool things that you can get if you're doing the Falcon Source you got to do three PvP uh, world quest with your Falcosaurs at least once to get through that quest line so you're going to run across it sooner or later if you um, want the mounts there are mounts for completing the brawl areas the free-for-all areas 20 times each if you do all four of them 20 times each you're going to get a mount uh, so if you're a collector like me uh, maybe you'll put up with it and get it done uh, and then lastly, there are some autocomplete uh, things. Some uh, classes have an autocomplete, my warrior, my death knight. Uh, there may be others that haven't leveled up yet have an um, item that you can pick up that autocompletes a world quest for you without you even doing it. You can use those on the PvP areas as well. So you could actually prestige level 1 and um, get the mounts uh, without ever PvPing if you've got one of those autocompletes. It is character specific, at least um, each of the... Um, uh, uh, hello. I've been just kind of, uh, each of the uh, specific achievements for doing the 20 brawler areas are uh, character specific, but the meta is, of course, account wide. So uh, you could spread that out if you wanted to. Uh, cool. So that's Neil's rant for today. It's gone a little long, a little longer than I thought. Um, so uh, keep up with Neil in all the ways. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I'm on YouTube. I'm in a guild. I'm in Shattered Fates on Medivh. And I'm on Patreon. Patreon.com. The Neil's. That's where people are helping Neil. Help other people earn more achievements. We appreciate them. Regnava, Zuki and the Random One, Neil, Adafluzi, Tendermova, Ocean Captain, Holy Fox, Carl, Lucky B, Infinitron, Darla, Saika, Mystery Patron. Shigan, Fantheria, Equin, Zuchu, Marasha, Petsy, The Beer Guy, Lean Beef, Coconutty, Jorvi, Azurea, Nosy J, Divad, Shimei, Fuggle, Delphinor, Mystical, Zelo, Kalai, and Jedi. They are helping you help other people earn some more achievements, and we appreciate them. If this video helped you out, if you liked it, like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and remember, fire is still bad. The sex pack, you'll have a great one.